I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Japanese baseball games on the GBA. Enjoy the video. One Piece Going Baseball is a pretty good game if you like baseball and One Piece. It's not revolutionary but it's fun. You get a story mode with cutscenes, in the story mode you play a season. You also get the classic exhibition and even mini games. The baseball mechanics are like in other baseball games for GBA so considering what it has, a story, uniquely animated characters and unique characters from the anime, in a normal baseball game for GBA, the game is pretty good. I mean, you can't really revolutionize the gameplay that much considering the limitations of the hardware. Anyway, just know that it's a great baseball game and if you're a One Piece fan, you should definitely check it out. Power Procon Pocket 1 and 2 might look cute, but are actually quite tough. The AI has many tricks up its sleeve and shuffles them so that you can really predict the ball when batting. The controls are okay, so the toughness of the game comes from not knowing where the ball is going to land. Not because of the game mechanics, which are good by the way. The two games have a story each. You can do transfers, create your own players and upgrade them. There are also mini games. The games are amazing if you know Japanese. Power Procon Pocket 3 has the same gameplay and game formula, but what everyone loved about it was the story. It was denser and funnier than in all of the trilogy. I won't tell you much, but your main character is a cyborg and someone gets run over by a car. There are more mini games to unlock than in the first games and even if all of the gameplay is the same, it's definitely worth playing. Power Procon Pocket 4 has a new story. This is the biggest selling point for the franchise, by the way, the story. I mean, the baseball part is good too, but when you get to experience the story, it's something else. Also, the gameplay formula is great too. I mean, you can create your own players, play mini games. the baseball itself is really good. An improvement in 4 is that you can create more players. And this is valid for the other games too, 5, 6 and 7. People enjoyed it more as an RPG than for the fact that it's a baseball game. The many mini games, especially the stories in each game, made it a success. Also in Power Pro 5, the difficulty has been reduced. 6 and 7 have the same difficulty as the other ones, so they are more tough. Only 5 is easier, so if you seek a slightly easier Power Pro Kun game, try the fifth one. But you should try out all of them, because all of them are amazing. Power Poke Dash is more like a slot machine game, it's not really a baseball game. You select the options from the left, select some more options from a pop-up and then see what luck entails for you. The game has a story of the same caliber as the rest, but without the good baseball gameplay from earlier, it loses its charm. Sure, the story was the biggest selling point of the franchise, but the great story works only when combined with the great gameplay. Solid baseball mechanics. And those aren't present here, so this one is a downer. Play it only if you've played the other games and really want to see another story. Because gameplay wise, it's pretty weak. Best Play Pro Yakio is okay-ish gameplay wise, but these sprites are so tiny it's hard to play the game for long periods of time or to play the game when on a bumpy car ride. It's nice that the game lets you edit players, that way you can always update rosters, making the game up to date forever if you wanted to. As for the gameplay mechanics, they are okay at best. I can't praise them, I can't really call them bad, but I still don't have them at heart. That's why I'm seeing that they are okay at best. Famista Advance is a super accessible baseball GBA game. It's easy to pick up, you don't even have to know Japanese to understand what you have on screen. But being easy to pick up, it's only geared towards casual players. As even if you turn the difficulty to 20, hardcore players will find it hard to get challenged by the game. Also because the game modes are bare minimum, the game will become dull if you play it for too long. I mean, it's good for some quick minutes of fun, but you won't be playing it for hours which is good or bad depending on how much you want to play. If you just want to have some quick fun and feel great, this game will work out for you. But if you want to struggle and get challenged, this game is not for you. Anyway, the game has great visuals, it's intuitive and very casual. I liked it personally. Mobile Puroyagu Kontaku no Saihai, or the game you see on screen, impresses visually but not functionally. 
It's amazing how many different stadiums it has and the graphics look good, but the pitchers use the scene through, which you'll quickly learn how to exploit and land a hit every time. And even if you can edit players and do transfers, there are still many players you can't trade or edit. Overall, the game is pretty bad balanced. It's okay, but there are way better games out there. Kachinko Professional Baseball is okay, but only okay. The gameplay might seem hard at first, but once you learn that you have to listen to the commentary and read the data of each pitcher before the throw, you quickly learn that you can land a hit every time. That's about the trick with the game. In Rust, the game is just okay. You can also trade players in the game, but I found it pretty dull actually. Greatest 9 is the most realistic GBA baseball game I've seen. It has real players, which Japanese reviewers seem to be excited about, the controls are great once you get used to them, also the AI shuffles its tricks. The CPU doesn't always throw the ball in the same way, which makes the game great, it's more challenging. The AI has surprises, which makes the game more real. Players have stats, you can do transfers, the only complaint I've read about the game was that even if you set the game to the hardest difficulty, at some point the difficulty dips, you score some big points and then returns to being hard again. Anyway, the game is top class in GBA sports games. And it's a definite recommendation. Let's make a professional baseball team advance or Puryago Chimu Otsukuru Adobansu is a baseball manager game. The game has some real players in it, but you can also create players. You draft players, hire a coach, train players, manage injuries. The game plays like every manager game, but being old and on a GBA, don't expect too many options. It's a little dumbed down, but still, you can do transfers, you see how the match is going via text prompts. If you're into this type of games, you're going to enjoy it for sure. Japanese reviewers say it's good but not brilliant. Mezase Koshien is a baseball RPG. You name your high school, train, train a lot as for the most part there are training minigames and participate in matches. It's pretty disappointing, I mean the only customization you can do in an RPG game is to choose the name of your school. You can't customize any character, you can't create any player, the story is decent but the gameplay is seriously lacking and is boring. Pitchers don't even have a ball type, ball speed or control, they just throw the ball to you. Also the AI performance is sloppy. Overall, the game has more downsides than good sides. I don't recommend the game to you. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You would help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.